Today was an absolutely amazing day for NEO investors. NEO Day brought forward some very exciting news and it honestly beat my expectations. For comparison, if you heard the hype and the disappointment surrounding Tesla's battery day, well, NEO Day was on the other end of that spectrum. Hello, YouTube investors. My name is Ankit and welcome to Simply Investing. Today, I'll share a quick recap of NEO Day. I'll share the highlights and provide my perspective on where the stock is headed. As always, if I missed anything, or if you would like to share your insights on NEO, please feel free to leave a comment below. So without further ado, let's get started. Chinese electrical vehicle maker NIO, trading under the ticker NIO, unveiled its new all-electric sedan today at its fourth annual NIO Day. It was quite an event complete with lasers and pop stars. For investors, NIO Day offered rich detail about the new car, autonomous driving, pricing models, and electrical vehicle batteries. Now, let's jump into the details. First, we have Bluepoint. This is a new program launched by NIO where they partnered up with the Chinese government to allow users to track their carbon reductions and receive NEO points, which act as carbon credits. Second, we have NEO Life Blue Sky Lab. This is a new fashion line which makes clothes from excess materials used in the vehicle manufacturing process. This is an added step for NEO to become environmentally friendly. Third, we have incomparable charging experiences. And NEO provided us with four key facts. The first fact is that 66% of NEO users have home battery charging stations. Second, NEO unveiled a 2,900 kilometer long destination charging route where one can charge their car quickly and continue driving. Third, NEO reported that they have 100 power charger stations and 792 NEO power charger stations. Fourth, 177 power swap stations are currently in use with 1.49 million swaps completed. That's a battery every 12 seconds. Think of this as going to the gas station, but instead of filling up gas, you walk away with a new battery. Speaking of battery swaps, NEO launched Power Swap Station 2.0. This swap station allows for three times more batteries than the previous generation, with a daily capacity of 312 swaps. And if that wasn't enough, get this. This is completely autonomous. You've got to be kidding me, right? With one tap of the button, the swap is initiated. This reminded me of automatic car washes, but instead of getting a car wash, you're driving away with a new fully charged battery. NEO reported that it plans on launching 500 Swap Stations 2.0 by the end of next year. If a swap station wasn't enough, NEO launched a 150 kilowatt per hour solid state battery, which improves energy density by 50%. In their models ES8, ES6, and EC6, we can see an improvement in driving range with capacities of 850, 900 and 910 kilometers respectively. And if that wasn't enough, the new sedan that you guys have been waiting for is actually gonna have a thousand kilometers plus range. And now for the new car, Neo ET7. This is a full size sedan with aggressive sporty styling and beautiful interior finishes. ET7 is about the size of a Tesla Model S and has impressive features such as soft closing doors, frameless windows, invisible air vents, and acoustic glass for a quiet ride. They also use renewable materials for interior finishes. Those are the main aesthetic considerations. The car also boasts up to 1000 km range with the most advanced battery options. It also has a 625 horsepower engine and air suspension. These are some of the things you might find in a Porsche. So clearly, this is a luxury sedan with a price tag of approximately 87,000 US dollars. The deliveries for ET7 model are supposed to begin in quarter one of 2022. Next, we will be talking about Aquila, which is all about safety features. In the ET7 model, you can expect a 11.8 megapixel front camera compared to Tesla's 1.2 megapixel camera. It is also LiDAR equipped, which stands for light detection and ranging. It also has a throughput of eight gigs of data per second. Essentially, the safety features are amazing. These safety features are also being used for NEO 2.0, which is also known as NAD and stands for NEO Autonomous Driving. NAD is being offered for a monthly subscription fee of somewhere around 135 US dollars. This also includes NEO's battery as a service feature, which if you do decide to get, it actually brings down the price of the car by a little bit. And last, but not the least, we have NEO Supercomputing, also known as Atom. This is the most powerful mobile processing system in any production vehicle. 
Now, there are a lot more specifications for this system that are beyond my understanding. So feel free to check them out on your own through the NEO website. This new system is being developed by NVIDIA. So NEO now has a partnership agreement with NVIDIA. To wrap up, NEO Day unveiled eight key details. First, carbon credits. Second, an environmentally friendly fashion line. Third, a user-friendly charging experience. Fourth, a new battery power swap station. Fifth, an improved battery. Sixth, a new car model. Seventh, enhanced safety features. And eighth, a powerful software for autonomous driving. Well, if you're one of the lucky investors to be holding the stock, I do expect the prices to go up on Monday. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to drop a like, and feel free to comment in the comment section below and share your insights on NEO. If you're interested in more content like this, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified of any new content about investing. So on that note, thanks a lot for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one.